today, every week, we come out to do outreach at the different homeless camps in the city. So what we do is we bring out different partners with us. We provide security. Uh, we also do scouting and we, to find where everybody is and then we'll bring services with us. It's unusual to think of police being outreach, but it's something that's catching on. So we go in, we see who you are, we see if you have any needs. We also check some criminal things for you if you ask us to, but we are the liaisons for everyone to go through if they need us. It's very cold right now, so we try to make sure that at the base level everybody's alive and they have the tools they need to survive out here in the weather. Everybody who lives in the city has this service. They have police services that they can call at any time when they need help. Well, when you're homeless, it's harder to make a call because you may not have a phone number. You don't have an address. It's hard, actually. So when we go out to the camps, we actually provide law enforcement services, police services. That way, they feel safe enough to come to us to tell us their problems and get services from us. So we are their police officers. Hip Hop Cares, we're serving breakfast. Uh, we're serving milk, orange juice, hot chocolate, and coffee. With food, it brings people to me. It allows me to engage in conversation. It allows them to engage in conversation. And it, it allows us to, to be able to get things done via an immediate need, uh, because everybody's got to eat. And breakfast is, uh, as they say, the most important meal of the day. I bring um, new syringes and wound care and Narcan. I collected probably, I don't know, a couple hundred syringes that all my participants keep for me. That's what we do every morning we come. The way to link people to the services that we do have available is to form those relationships. That's one of the reasons we come here. We need to bring it to them. It is amazing the change that can happen. Well, it makes me see that it's definitely needed. The goal for my partner and I is to just overall help people. We meet a lot of people who are lost in our world. So the more that we're present, the, the more it helps everyone, including communities. Communities are seeing that we are going to some areas that they may have. And with the clears, like, we can at least tell them who's living there, what's going on, and the whole process of how, like, we're going to try to keep helping them. So we're, we're kind of like a bridge to, to just find the needs, connect them with the needs, and then follow up if need be. It takes a lot of rebuilding of hope, a lot of rebuilding of respect and love. So that's the most important thing. My goal every day I come out is to have a good conversation with at least one person because that is a relationship that I am forming that in the future will uh, maybe make it okay for somebody to come for me for help when they're ready to do anything different. On the days that we go out and we go to camps and we take out food and we take out all of the resources and we wrap around that support, uh, yes, I think that it's extremely effective in that setting and I'm very hopeful that we can we can keep the momentum going. We can end the cycle of homelessness in Louisville. I firmly believe that. I think that what we're doing is different in that we are now working together and I think we need to do that so that it doesn't get worse and hopefully we make it better.